Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a really cool Arduino-based library, and that is the CapSense library. And this library lets you use simple capacitive touch with the Arduino. So, in order to get this to work, we're just going to be doing really simple capacitive touch today, just sensing capacitive touch. You're going to need this. It's a piece of copper foil. Uh, a couple warnings about this one. It is extremely sharp, so be careful when cutting it and handling it. You should probably sand the edges a bit. So this is going to be one half of the capacitor, the other capa other half of the capacitor being you, uh, probably your fingers. Um, when soldering this, you're going to want to put a little blob because it'll get rid of the oxide and actually let you uh, solder directly to it. So remember that, so you're going to need that, an Arduino, obviously. You're also going to need a little bit of wire and a resistor. Now, this is a, you've got to be kind of specific with this. This is a big resistor. This is a one mega ohm resistor. That's one million ohms. Why so big? Well, we'll talk about why that is in just a second. But you're going to want something generally one mega ohm or larger. Uh, the larger the resistance, the different your effects will be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and solder this so that you can see how this works. Because soldering onto copper foil can be a bit of a pain. So I've got my soldering iron and my solder. So I've already added a couple blobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and get this blob to flow again. Then I'm going to grab my length of wire and then put it onto the blob of solder and there we go so that's that one attached do the same thing for the resistor add a little bit more there we go put the resistor in let me sure I could probably do that a little better come on all right, that'll have to do. Okay, and just to do a quick check, gonna get my multimeter out, set it to conductivity. So if I touch these two points, should hear a beep, beep. Good. Oh, move my camera there. And so that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this, let it cool off, then. This library uses two pins. The first pin is a send pin, and the second pin is the receive pin. So I'm going to set the receive. The send pin is attached to the resistor, and I'm going to connect that to pin four. So zero, one, two, three, four, and then the receive. I'm going to set to pin two, and there we go. I'm going to bend that out of the. Get that in there. There we go. Okay. And so there we have that. So this is a, what we're going to, this is, will become a capacitive sensor with just a little bit of code. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so before we get to the code, let's talk a little bit about how this library works. So I've got the Falstad circuit simulator open. The way it works is you have the send pin and the send pin sends a square wave. It will turn the pin on and then it's going to wait until the receive pin turns on. Now, the thing to remember is that everything takes time. It may be an imperceivable amount of time, but it still takes time. And what the library does is it keeps track of the amount of time, not in milliseconds or nanoseconds, but in number of program ticks from it sen sending the command to start to set the send pin high to the amount of time the receive pin set is set high. So the send pin and the receive pin are connected through this resistor. So I've got our one mega ohm resistor here. So as you can see, the send pin turns on, the receive pin turns on. But let's say I bring in this capacitor, half of which is that sheet of copper and the other half is U. You can see that now the time has increased from the 
amount of time the send pin turns on to the amount of time the receive pin turns on. And that deviation is what's given to you front by the library. And you can use this deviation to say, oh, someone's touched the foil. And with greater capacitance, with, with not greater capacitances, with greater resistances, the amount of time increases and the effect increases. You can actually get farther and farther away from the field before it starts respond uh, from the field from the foil before it starts responding. You can actually get, I think, it is almost 10 inches away from it before it starts responding. So you can have a a proximity sensor or you could have a capacitive sensor. And so what we have here with this one mega ohm resistor is that it requires absolute touch to activate. So what we have here is a capacitive switch. Okay, so I've downloaded the Capacitive Sense library, and this is the example file that they give you. And what they have is, uh, it's set up for three foils. We only need one, so I'm just going to get rid of these two. Why is that not responding all that well? Oh, well. So, it works by creating a Capacitive Sensor object. Drag that down. Uh, this is the send pin, which we remember we set to four, and this is the receive pin, pin two. And let's just take out some of these and take this out. So what it's going to display on the serial monitor is the amount of time it took for it to activate and the value given or returned from this from the from the capacitive sense sensor. Yeah. This probably oh what this is going to be returned in milliseconds. This is going to be returned in program ticks. I don't think that there is any linear relationship or really any good relationship between number of program ticks and milliseconds, so you have to calibrate it as you go. You have to figure out what your window of operation is. But yep, so I'll just go ahead and upload this to the board and we'll see how it responds. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so got the serial monitor going, and what I'm just going to go ahead and do is touch the foil. And you want to watch the column of numbers on the right hand side. That's the number of program ticks. So if I touch it, you can see that it shoots up to almost 2,000 ticks in between the send pulse being sent and the receive pulse and the receive pin receiving it. If I let go, it sits at about two. 250 and again I grab it and it changes and the amount you touch it tweaks it so if I touch it very lightly it sits at about 700 but if I go all the way down it we get back to that 2000 if I grab it with a couple fingers nope, we can get it to almost 3000 it looked like now if I remove this you can see it slows down because it's now it's running into its timeout but if I plug that back in into the right pin there we go and it's working again now if I oops, touch the upper part of the resistor wire here and the foil you can see I get it down to like 60 that's because I'm essentially creating a short uh, not a bad kind of short it's just that the time it takes is so small that I can get it down to zero. But, yeah, so there we go. That is a very simple capacitive touch switch with the Arduino. So, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.